Hi guys, School here, back with some OMSI 2 bus simulator. Well, we're on a new map. We're on a map called Bodenham. Bodenham? Bodenham V4, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's essentially a British map, although you do drive on the right-hand side. But through and through, it's a British map. You'll see all the road signs. I mean, look at this, we're at Argos. I'm actually outside of Paul Simon. Paul Simon, the famous curtains, blinds, sofas and bed store. I had to nip inside. The wife demanded I buy her some cushions. So I kind of did it just before I start my, my shift today. I'm in a Mercedes-Benz Arriva bus. Beautiful paint job, I love it. Arriva Platinum bus service, it says on it. I just love the colour scheme, it's kind of elegant, you know, grey and green and stuff. It's really nice. Anyway, I've got the um, I've got the cushions. So it's time to get going in this in this bus route. So what I'm going to do, we're going to do the, um, the bus route 115. Bolden and Map V4 is quite complicated. It's completely free, but quite complicated to install. I'll, li I'll leave you a link to the actual website. But trust me, when you download it, open up the, the PDF file, and you're going to have to look hard at those system requirements. There is a bus that you do have to buy, the Mercedes-Benz. It's one of the DLC on Steam. But then again, there's another patch somewhere else that for this that so that you don't need the bus. It really is, honestly. I did it on, I think, last Friday on stream and went through the whole thing, installing it. Oh, my life. It demands an entire video just showing you how to install this, so please don't ask me how, because it is really tricky. You're going to have to work through the PDF on your own, I'm afraid, until I do a video about that. Anyway, let's get on with this. Uh, we are going to go for Route 115, so we're going to go down here and find 115... Where are you? There you are. 2000, 2015. So the, the bus is in this a lot more modern. Now, a lot of the packs that you download with this as part of the installation come with loads of skins. So we've got lots of little buses, even got coaches and stuff, and loads of skins. It's absolutely fantastic. It's opened up so much stuff. And uh, we're just playing with one of the buses today because I thought it looked really cool. Uh, tour, what about tour 230, the bus leaves at... Right, so here's where we're going. Rotten High Street, Rotten High Road Stand 4, so that's on the high street basically, to, uh, this is Apsley Bus Station. So first stop is Rotten High Road. Uh, so I need to drive from here and go and find that. I kind of remember how I got here, but I'm probably going to get lost going back. We're only going to be there at 10.15, so let's click on that. And uh, let's get inside, start the bus up. So we'll get rid of the wheel for a second. Hopefully I'll remember to put that back. Turn the key. Apsley House. We're definitely not at Apsley House, I promise you that. Uh, right, let's get some... Where's the temperature gauge around here? It's all digital, it's all modern. Put a bit of... There you go. A little bit of temperature going, and uh, all important... Whoa, whoa, zoom in, zoom out. Crikey, this thing's catching up with me. The all important window. Uh, which should be a feature of every every single simulator on the planet should have this, including FSX. Yep, you should be able to stick your head out the window. And uh, the roller blind, which you have to operate like this, and then you have to pull the string to get it to go back. So I'll pull the blind down like that. So it's sunny, it's morning. Um, what else have we got to do? We've got to set up the computer. Computer, right? So we'll go down here and we'll go line. So one, one, five, and then zero, zero on the end. Boom. Absolutely house. Uh, the routes here should be zero, one, I think. So it's expecting us to go to Apsley bus station. Uh, I'll click on this and we'll type in line one, one, five. Terminus is Apsley bus station, which is here. Click OK. And you can see we are minus 22 minutes. So we've got 22 minutes to get there to Watton High Road, which is good. If we go outside, yay, one more five up to the bus station. So that's a good sign. Uh, let's just see. The ticketing machine's quite advanced. I'm still going to do easy ticketing so that I just do the shift T, control T, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, we've got enough to think about right now without doing manual. Um, anything else to do? Right, let's put the wheel. Oh, yeah, the lights. Hang on. Uh, let's put some lights on. Oh, they're already on. Uh, five, six, seven. They're already on as well. That's good. So, I think we're ready to put the wheel back. We are all lit up. Now, interesting thing about this is this display. Uh, for example, uh, I've got the, the full handbrake on at the moment. 
but and you see those wheels are black because they're locked and they're not black because the doors are closed if I uh, open see what happens if I station lock that uh, open the front door see the symbol uh, if I open the back door there you go you see so when the jet black it means that your doors are open and you can press that you press that and if I take the handbrake off do you see what happens the parking brake symbol has gone but the back wheel is locked because the station brake is on if I take the station brake off see so this display actually shows you what's going on in terms of the braking and stuff now the other thing to watch out about this bus is in order to change from neutral to drive to reverse you have to put your foot on the brake that's just a feature of the mercedes-benz bus so we put our foot on the brake press d and you can see now we've gone into drive if you don't put your foot on the brake nothing happens <laughs> okay right let's turn track ir on so we've got some good stuff and we are ready to rock and roll release the station brake and now we need to go and find what and high road we've got 20 minutes to do it if we get the road i'll skip the clock forward now keep your eye out on the scenery it's very very british if you're from the uk you'll definitely recognize this stuff however like i said we are driving on the right hand side so that if you're british will kind of throw you driving in britain on the right kind of a taster of what things should be i suppose <laughs> uh, i think it's up here what you need to watch out for, apart from this bus being rather nice, is the rather splendid scenery. Uh, considering this map is free, it is absolutely awesome. There are so many routes to drive. And with all the free stuff I've installed, I've got lots of buses and lots of skins. However, it is a monster of an installation and it will kill your frame rate. There are some recommended stuff that you do in the manual. Uh, I've had to turn down some of my AI settings and some of my graphics settings. Uh, turn off collisions between vehicles, um, you know, just to get the frame rate back up. And even if I press Shift Y, if I press it again and again, there you go. You can see my average frame rate. Oh, it's just crashed. Wow. Well, there you go. It just completely hung for a. a few seconds my FPS is around about the 20 mark I'm running off an SSD and it still takes when you load the map can still take at least 30 seconds if you're not running SSD uh, you can probably expect a couple of minutes to load it's not the best optimized game in the world and when you start throwing all kinds of expansion mods like this at it it does tend to struggle a little bit and you will have to crank things down the big killers in the game, if you want to get an FPS increase, the big killers are the number of vehicles that you've got uh, in the game, so that's the AI vehicles, the number of pedestrians, shadows and reflections. If you have a problem with FPS, start cranking those down and you will start to see a massive difference. Right, and I think, oh my life, I'm so lost. I think it might be this way. The problem is I've got no sat nav, <laughs> so I'm going off memory, and uh, I wasn't really paying attention when I started going for a bit of a jolly. Actually, what I could do, if I get lot, if I can't find it, I've got a feeling it's down here. If I can't find it, I'm going to change to route two, and then it'll set the destination to Apsley bus station, and then it'll kind of sat nav me down there. So we'll do that if I get lost. Let's see if we can read the road signs. Uh, what does that say? Garston A57. Is it left or is it right? 50-50. That's like a USB now. It's like putting a USB in. Yeah, 50-50 chance, but you always get it wrong. Um, hmm. Okay, let's cancel the route temporarily. And we'll go for... 115. This is how to get yourself unlost. <laughs> Actually, I could have probably just done that. What? Okay. I probably could have just changed the route on this to zero to 
Zero two, go. Watton High Street, there we go. Aha! What would you have gone, left or right? So we've not got an absolute load of pedestrians, but we've got enough um, to try and keep a good frame rate going. Yeah, I would have totally got lost. <laughs> There's no way I would have found this. Oh, apparently, look, we can go. This is a bus route only. Ha 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 ha. The privileges of being a bus driver. Look at these little bus stands, look. Cool. Right, I'll have to reset the route now. Okay, I'm going to go full brake, I'm going to go station brake, uh, I'm going to go ham foot brake into neutral, I'm going to open that front door so that people can start getting on, and I'm going to fix the route that we're taking, let's cancel that, 115, 2.30, right, so it's 10 o'clock, we should be able to come back to the... Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. 10.15. Watton High Street stand. We'll take it. And we'll set that to 115. Epsi bus station. Jobs are good in. Finally, put the route back. Epsi bus station. Leyland Street. Nope. Go back. There you go. Minus 14 minutes. We're on. So let's just advance the clock. 10.13 causes it to reload why wouldn't it I guess it's calculating where everybody is right now and stuff ok we are ready to rock and roll uh, what are we on 1.5 minute we're parked we can actually I think with this bus you could probably park a little bit more forward as well because the turning circle is quite good. If I full lock that, I mean, look at that. Look at that lock. It's incredible. That front end would come down here. But the interesting thing is the gearing on this thing. Like, look how many times that wheel turns to get a complete lock. <laughs> just look at it. From one lock to another. <laughs> you just got to sit there as the driver just spinning your wheel around. Right, it looks like the high street's quite quiet at the moment. But look at the detail. I mean, this here is is pretty authentic. And that's one of the things I kind of like about OMS, OMS i2 is its authenticity. You know, it takes something like Eurotruck and the roads are kind of mapped, you know, approximations. I think it's like a 120 scale. And this thing, they're mapped very accurately. And the timetables are mapped. Yeah, I mean, seriously, when you open the PDF, right, just have a look through the maps, the detail they've gone into, the timetables. They've even created specific events, like disaster scenarios where there's been a, uh, a crash at a, a train station or something, and they're having to redirect all the buses on an emergency schedule. There's, like, tons of stuff you can do in the game. It's just an absolute shame that the whole thing is still unstable and still not very well optimised. Because at its core, this thing could be really good. Hang on. Oh, well, I think we're ready to rumble. Yep, I'm too busy talking. And now we're late. So let's go around the corner, because I've got a feeling. Thinking about it. Fuck the brake, press D. I've got a feeling that everybody's around the corner waiting. I don't think this is the pickup point. Got a feeling there's actually a bus stop around here, and a lot of passengers are about to complain about how late I am. Now, the other thing this thing comes with, which, if you've never seen it before, will be a very, very interesting surprise for you. Um, but we're going to get it now as people get on the bus. Okay, get ready for this. Just a single, please, driver. Just a single, please, driver. 
Okay, well there's your ticket, sir. Um, basically, it comes with a whole bunch of English voice packs, which is phenomenal for somebody like me who doesn't speak German. Right, we're a minute late. I'm going to put my foot down. Um, just pay attention to some of the uh, some of the speech in this. It is hilarious fun. So it patches the the pedestrians talking to you, the passengers talking to you, from German to uh, hilarious. Some of it is fantastic. Some of them is like, uh, all right, mate, like proper Cockney. Come on, love, you need to get on this bus quick because I am late. Come on. Hello, driver. Can I have a single, please? You most certainly can, dear. Thank you very much. Take your seat. No problem. You're very polite. I like you. Please take a seat while I put my foot down. Let's try and get the schedule back on track. Now, all the speed limits, because it's in the UK, are in miles per hour, so that... Normally this road is 30 miles per hour, um, which equates to roughly, roughly 50 kilometers, roughly. Are you getting on, pal? Oh, you scumbag. See, I just cost me time. Seriously. Uh, the other thing is to pay attention to, which I'll probably forget. You know the, um, the bus display where the dashboard is and the time? You get a, an icon come up when there's a passenger request to get off the bus. Uh, so we need to pay attention to that as well. It's not like the old buses where you'd get a light. You um, you actually get a... It's all on the di digital display. Now, funnily enough, look, considering we're in the UK, <laughs> can you see these shops? And all the prices in Made in Germany, 79 euros. Yeah, so... They've used a lot of the skins. They've remodeled it, but they've used a lot of the skins out of the original game. So you get this very strange hybrid. It is pretty much like a hybrid between the UK and Germany. In that it looks like the UK, but the textures are German and we're driving on the right. It's, and everybody talks English. It's a very odd experience, but quite interesting. I'll take it, though. Are you, are you letting me go, pal? Ooh. Two minutes late. Guys, I need to put my foot down. To heck with the speed limits. Right, she wants to get on. Oh, she can get on quick. Come on, come on, come on. Good, just get on. Fantastic. Even better. Once you get outside that three minute zone, you're going to start being classed as late. I want to try and drive to a good schedule if I can. Let's take a, a bus swing around here. So many parked cars. What I like about this particular route, the Line 115, is it goes into the country. Does he want to get on? Yeah, he does. They should put the hand up. That's what they do in the UK. They put the hand up when they want to hail the bus. That'd be so cool. Good morning, mate. How you doing? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Oh, good morning, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, one of the things I like about this route, though, is we'll go into the country. You get this wonderful country trip. It's almost like it's between two villages. It's fantastic. People just walking around. They should, um... should give them bags and stuff, you know? Like, sports bags, carrier bags, shopping bags. There are even routes on this that will take you to... Uh, Asda, you know, like the as effectively Walmart to our American cousins, but since they own Asda, but Asda's a supermarket, and you can there's actually a bus station at Asda you can go to, which is really cool. Slow down because that is properly tight. <laughs> you gotta love the complaints. Jeez, God, no, what the hell's going on with your driving? It's so nice being able to understand my passenger's feelings. 